Hey friend, welcome to the Bible Tract Echoes radio broadcast. I'm so very thankful once again for the opportunity to speak with you today. I'm going to ask you to grab your Bibles. Let's see where we will begin today. I think we're going to find our place in the book of Deuteronomy again. The book of Deuteronomy. We began this week talking about the fact that little is much when God is in it. And that kind of encapsulated Monday and Tuesday. Yesterday, we talked about the place the church, God's church, God's place. And today we're going to continue in that very vein. Go to Deuteronomy chapter number 12. While you turn there, I've got to share something with you. I told you each day of this month, I'm going to share something that I'm thankful for. And today is no different. I'm thankful for my wife, Rebecca McCurry. She is a helpmeet to me. She's a marvelous mother to our children. She is phenomenal. It's amazing how she has a warm, hot meal. Oftentimes when I come home, just about every time when I come home from working here, somehow she keeps meals coming out of that oven. Even when we're in the RV, in the motor home, she just does a phenomenal job. In addition to being a great help at our local church, she serves as a missions secretary and of course, responding with the missionaries supported by our local church amongst a multitude of other things in addition to mothering our children. She does a great job and I'm so very thankful for her. She's a very wise woman and she keeps me on the straight and narrow when I get too much of a harebrained idea. She helps me out sometimes and so I'm thankful for her. I've been talking about having her on the program. Maybe one of these days, maybe uh, Christmas is kind of a family time, isn't it? Maybe during the month of December, I'll have to have my wife. You pray about that. I'll pray about that. If everything lines up and it works out, our schedules, her schedule allows, we would love to make that happen for you to be introduced to her. Remember, especially if that happens, you're going to want to watch at least a portion of the video version of this broadcast. You can find it right now on YouTube and Facebook. Just search for Bible Tracks Incorporated or Bible Tract Echoes on your favorite podcast player to listen to the audio version if you need the archives. But if you want the video version, go to YouTube and Facebook and you can watch that there, There, especially if my wife comes on. We'll have a great time. She is not the biggest fan of public speaking. And I can't think of few, I think a few things that are more public than the radio speaking on over 100 stations to thousands of people just like you. But maybe we'll be able to convince her one of these days. I'll tell her it's for the people. It's for you because I'm sure you want her on the radio. If you do, let me know so I can tell her a bunch of people want her on the radio. Text me. If you want my wife to come on the radio with me at least once or twice, text me. Also, text me what you're thankful for. I'd love to hear what you're thankful for today. You can text me at 309 316 7240. Let me give it to you real slow. 309 316 7240. Zero. Text me what you're thankful for. Text me if you want to see my wife on the radio or hear my wife on the radio. We'll have a great time with all that. So I've told you what I'm thankful for. You're going to tell me what you are thankful for. I'm also thankful for gospel tracks. I'm holding in my hand a gospel track called The Gift. The Gift. God's love for all. You'd be surprised, this gospel track says, if you knew how many blessings God wants to give you. All of these gifts are found in the gift of God, his own son, Jesus Christ. Remember that verse, John 3, 16? I'll read it for you. As we approach the Thanksgiving time frame, this is a great verse. As we approach the Christmas time frame, this is a great verse. What does that verse say? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life what a gift what an amazing expression of god's love for all 
This gospel track talks about that. You can find this gospel tract at BibleTracksInc.org. As always, BibleTracksInc.org will send you as many as you can use for free. It's a great gospel tract, especially since it has what appears to be a present on the front cover of it. It's a great gospel tract during this Christmas time frame. We talked on Monday of this week about the characters of Christmas great Christmas tract. We talked about today, the gift, God's love for all. And we'll talk about another gospel tract tomorrow. I appreciate your listenership. Go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 12. We're talking about the church. That may seem odd that the director of a Bible tracts ministry, the a local evangel- uh, evangelist is talking about the local church. But friend, I work through the local church. God's work works through the local church. I'm a member of a local church. My church is the First Baptist Church of Dwight in Dwight, Illinois. My pastor is Pastor Dan Woodward, and I'm so very thankful for my church. I'm thankful for my fellow church members. I'm thankful for what my church represents because it is God's place. And we spoke about that yesterday. Today, though... We talk about the fact that it's a good place. Look at Deuteronomy 12, 5. But unto the place which the Lord your God shall choose out of all your tribes to put his name there, even unto his habitation shall ye seek, and thither shalt thou come. Do you realize that we are part of God's family? Do you realize that we are privileged to bear his name. Think about that verse. It says, unto the place which the Lord your God shall choose out of all your tribes to put his name there in this day, in this age, God works through the ministry of the local church. We are part of God's family. We get to bear his name. It's a good place the church is. To think about a place with his name on it, What a good place. Psalm 23, verse 6. You may know this verse when I remind you of it. Surely goodness and mercy mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell, where? In the house of the Lord forever. Man, it's a good place. It's God's place. It's a gathering place. Deuteronomy 12, 5 you shall, uh, even unto his habitation shall ye seek, and thither shalt thou come. Well, it sounds like it's a place that we're supposed to come together. Psalm 27 verse 4 says this, One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Why are we so happy when the preacher, when the pastor preaches a short message. Is it because we don't realize what a good place we're in? That we don't realize that this place, the church, is a gathering place? I think about my usual weekend. Most Saturdays, uh, I'm traveling towards a church. I'm going to church. Sometimes on Sunday morning, if the church is close enough, if I'm within two or three hours, I'll often just drive there. If I'm preaching there on Sunday morning, I'll drive on Sunday morning. But my time is filled with encouraging God's man for his place for the church, the pastors of America, of the world. My time is filled with giving God's church the tools, the people of God's church, the tools they need to evangelize the lost like gospel tracts. My time is filled with preparing to preach, to speak to God's people from God's book in God's place, the church. Friend, I'm not just speaking to you with some idle fancy that passed my mind. I'm speaking to you from my life's work. God's place, a good place, a gathering place. Let me ask you, who have you invited to your church? If it's a gathering place, maybe you'd want to bring some people with you. I I appreciate, I love seeing churches where we have a cross-section of humanity, a cross-section of the culture, people in various states of dress, people in uh, various uh, cult- from various cultural backgrounds, people from across 
the America and the world to go to these different churches and to see people gather together with a common goal of edifying our Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ, and worshiping him and talking about this book. It's a gathering place, friend. Have you invited someone to church? Do you go to church? Let me encourage you, friend. Do you just go to church on Sunday morning or do you go to church Sunday night? Do you, does your church have a midweek service? You should be there Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night. An older wise man said three to thrive, three to thrive. Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night. It's a gathering place. It's a giving place. Can I tell you, friend, I'm so appreciative of the folks that give to our ministry. But let me encourage you. You should, the Bible tells us, you should tithe to your local church. Deuteronomy 12, 6, the very next verse, after verse number 5 that we've been kind of focusing on, and thither, to God's habitation, to God's place, thither, that place, shall ye bring your burnt offerings, your sacrifices, your tithes. Friend, I saw a quote on a wall of a school recently, and it wasn't even a spiritual quote, but it has spiritual application, said this, you can't make a withdrawal unless you've made a deposit. Well, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? You can't make a withdrawal. You can't make a withdrawal unless you've made a deposit. You can't go to the bank and say, "I'd like my money back, please," and they say, "You've never had an account with us. You've never put money into this bank. You can't take any money out." Why do we go to church saying, "Give me, give me, give me, give me," and we've never invested in that place? I'm thankful once again for the people that invest in this ministry. And please, if the Lord leads you to, continue to do so. But you should, as the Bible commands, you should give to your local church, not just of your money, but of your time, your talents, and your treasures. The place, God's place, the church. It's God's place, yes. It's a good place for sure. It's a gathering place, and it's a giving place. Tomorrow on the broadcast, we have just a few more to get through. I'm going to encourage you to join us tomorrow, if you would, right here on the Bible Tract Echoes radio broadcast. If you have questions, if you say, I need a good local church, Brother Micah, can you help me out? I know a lot of folks in a lot of different places. If I thought about it, and in my records and things... I probably have at least one church in all 50 states that I could recommend for you. So if you're listening, it doesn't matter where you're listening from. If you're outside of the continental United States, if you're in Puerto Rico, if you're in Antigua, if you're in Liberia, if you're in Kenya, if you're in India, if you're in Myanmar, if you're in New Zealand, I probably have a place I can recommend to you that maybe, just maybe, isn't too far away. Text me, 309-316-7200. Four zero. Have a great day for his glory. We'll talk to you all very soon. Again, text me 309-316-7240. God bless.